Well, good evening. We're here in Danville, Virginia. This is just outside of the city of Danville's water intake system where the city gets their water and where Duke Energy found the largest deposit of coal ash from the Dan River spill. Just to give you an idea of how big this deposit is that they're working to clean up, it's about three football fields wide, about a foot deep, and 20 feet long. Duke Energy is using a dredging process to remove this ash from the river. This vacuum barge will actually suck up sediment from the bottom of the river and pump it to here. Now this is where the ash is separated from the water. All the sediment is pumped into these shakers where it's sifted down into a conveyor belt and all the way out the other side to where it's loaded into lined containers. They load about eight to 10 of them per day until they can get up all 2,500 tons of ash. Only a fraction compared to the 35,000 tons that initially spilled into the Dan River that Duke Energy says may not all be able to be removed. It's safe to say that a lot of this probably will remain just in the water? Well, I think it's realistic that, that we're going to find a lot of areas where it may cause more harm to remove it than leaving it in place. But we're going to have to evaluate that on a site-by-site -site basis and look at that particular site and what the best plan for action is there. Duke Energy says they plan to have all of this work wrapped up by the end of June, and they say they will continue to look for more deposits along the Dan River. We're in Danville, Virginia. Jonathan Rodriguez, WNCN News.